keep doing it once you start it. What? <laughs> it's just kidding. That's not real. And I should know. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> Looks like Takashi Kun pulled a fast one on you, Adachi san. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just for a second there. Nice to see a kid achieve something so big. I mean, that's some real leveling up. Becoming a lawyer. Yeah. God, Takashi must have worked his ass off. Ah, oh, he's a good kid, all right. Adachi-san, I think your kindness is what taught him to be good. Oh, I don't know. Even without my money, I'm sure he would have made his dreams come true one way or another. That's just the kind of guy he is. You know, he'll be a great lawyer. <laughs> he'll help a lot of people. <laughs> I think you're right about that. Thanks for everything, Kasuga. Come on, don't get all sentimental on me. I mean, it's just that, you know, we've gone through some, some shit together, you know, but in the end, it's, you know, good times. I'm glad we met each other. I really am. What a coincidence. I was just thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> nice that the feeling's mutual. How about we celebrate Takashi passing the test with a drink? Yeah, to great future lawyers and great former detectives. Cheers! Cheers! Yo, Sachan. Huh? Uh, Sachan? Uh, wait. You're not Sachan? It's nice to see you again, Kasuga-san. We met at Sunlight Castle, isn't that right? Wait. Are you Nanoha-san? But why are you here? Who told you to meet me? Ichiban! Look closer! It's me, Saiko! Oh, so it is you, Sachan. If you can't see through it, then my performance must be good. I'm sure Katsuragawa will think I'm Nanoha too. No, for sure he will. Even though, <clears throat> actually, I was just pretending to be tricked. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Anyway, I figured out where to find Katsuragawa. Nanoha's gonna pay him a surprise visit and tell him to hit the road. You're still coming with me, right? He's at his office right now. He said it was a consulting firm, but it's actually an illegal loan business. And his bodyguard and his employees, they were all in that shady biker gang he used to be in. Scum collects around other scum. Man, how did Nanoha get caught up with people like that? She might just be the kind of girl who's into it. Or maybe I shouldn't have butted into her life so much. You probably understand by now how bad I feel about all this. Hey, maybe it wasn't you. Maybe she's just the kind of girl who's into bad boys. Either way, let's go fix this for her. Time to take out the trash. Wait, what the fuck? Are you serious right now? I knew something was up with you. Showing up out of the blue like this. What's gotten into you? You realize what you're doing? I sure as hell do. I'm saying I won't give you any more money. Okay, but... And that means you have no reason to be with me, right? So we're breaking up. For good. Oh, come on, babe. Don't be stupid. It's not like I was going out with you just for the money. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. Just give me what you owe me. Right here, right now. What? 
I, I can't right now. I, I gotta throw two million at my company soon, or it'll go belly up. Sweetie, you know how hard I've worked for this. I just need a little more. You could pull in two mil back at the Soapland easy. Hey, man, I gotta ask. How much have you already borrowed from Nanoa? Hey, man, I gotta ask. How about you fuck right off? If she lent you two million on top of everything else, how much of that total do you plan on paying back someday? You need to crawl back down out of my ass, dude. This ain't none of your business. You don't know, do you? Yeah, you want to borrow even more. You're lucky Nanoha's not a real loan shark. I'm lucky because Nanoha and I are in love. Money don't matter to us, right, babe? These fucking tightwads. It's 1.3 million yen. That's the amount of money Katsuragawa-san has already borrowed from Nanoha-san. Hey, Yamashita, stay out of this. Nobody asked you. Uh, uh, forgive me. It wasn't my place. Nah, thanks for speaking up, Yamashita. Good man. So, we'll be taking that 1.3 million back today. Who are you anyway? You're a real Yakuza-looking motherfucker. Maybe you're trying to take my girl's money for yourself. That's none of your concern. Give me back my money so I can be on my way. Nanoha, I love you. Come on. Remember what you said? How you always dreamed of what we have? Nanoha really loved you that much? We're perfect for each other. Honey, you're a sweet angel, and I'm the guy who protects you from all the bastards of the world. Ah, oh, so that's the excuse you've been using for dragging her down. He's one of the bastards I'm talking about! Yamashita, what are you waiting for? Toss this guy out on his ass already! No. Haven't you done enough? What? What did you say? Sir, step back and take a look at yourself. You need to let Nanoha-san go. She's been working herself to the bone to support her father. She needs the money. And besides, you've got a bunch of other girls coming around anyway. What the hell are you doing? I'm doing what's right, boss. You can't just keep squeezing the poor girl dry. And she shouldn't have to work at no damn soap land. I can't just sit by and watch this happen to an innocent woman. It, it just ain't right. Yo, why don't you think about who you're talking to? I'm the guy who saved your ass when you were a zit-faced teenager, remember? So unless you want to go back to being everybody's little bitch... <laughs> Every time someone calls you out or wants to leave your ass, you just make threats? Are all your boys with you just out of fear? I bet they all hate your guts. All right, I'm just fucking sick of you now. All of you, stop standing around with your dicks in your hands and throw this guy out! Yamashita too, you goddamn traitor! <laughs> Can't see I didn't see this coming. Well, except for Yamashita-kun acting like a real man. That was a nice surprise. No kidding. You know, I've been looking for an excuse to cut ties with him. Maybe it's even simpler than that. Maybe you just like Nanawa. Yeah, maybe that's it. Boy, you do, don't you? <laughs> well, that's great, Yamashita-kun. Kinda cute, honestly. Yeah, yeah, you'll both be real cute after I crush you into little pieces. Come on, you scared? Right. Yaruga, let's go! Check this out! Hey, you deserve a little reward. Cool. You're gonna get stuck. You're in it now. Hold on.
Please, stop hitting me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on, where's all that fighting spirit, Katsuragawa? <laughs> Don't tell me you've had enough. <sighs> Give back all the money you borrowed from Nanoha right now, then get the hell out of Yijincho. If I see you around town again, I'll kick your ass even harder. If you reach out to Nanoha, you won't have an ass when I'm done. Okay, okay, I got it. Please, just let me go. <laughs> All right, I won't hit you again. I won't. Huh? You asshole. Don't you ever take advantage of a woman ever again! No! Wait, are you for real? This is Nanoha's sister? She has a twin? Damn. Sorry to disappoint you, Yamashita-kun. I know you probably worked up all that courage to look cool for Nanoha. Sorry, Yamashita-kun. No, that's all right. I mean, running him off still makes life better for Nanoha-san. That's what matters. So, you're gonna keep acting like you never knew she worked at the soap land? Yes. And this whole Katsuragawa incident never happened, okay? I am dead serious about this. Okay. But she's definitely going to notice that her boyfriend suddenly skipped town without saying goodbye. And it happened right after she got a phone call from her estranged sister telling her to break up with the guy. What are you saying? You don't think she'll figure out her sis had something to do with his disappearance? <laughs> I mean, it'll almost be too obvious that Psycho said something to make him leave. Whoa. Now that you say that, yeah. That's fine, honestly. Can't really do much about it now, can I? But what if Nanoha gets pissed at you again? I thought you wanted to have a good relationship with her. Her happiness is my top priority. How she feels about me is secondary to that. It still kind of sucks if she ends up hating you after you did so much for her. She would have ended up broke if she stayed with that douchebag. You deserve some credit. I'm just grateful I can still talk to her on the phone. All I want is for her to be happy. Still... Huh. I could always tell Nanoha-san it went down like this. Like what? I'll tell her Katsuragawa's firm took a nosedive and he bailed to escape all his debts, but I got him to leave enough to pay her back. That way she can get her money without knowing you two were involved. Nice plan. I like how it conveniently gives you all the credit, Yamashita-kun. Oh, you're right. Guess that's no good, is it? I don't want to take all the credit. After all, I only said what was true. It killed me to see you're caught up in Katsuragawa's game for so long. I kept telling myself that I would stand up for her if she ever needed it. But then I'd make excuses, telling myself it wasn't the right time. When I saw her, well, when I saw someone I thought was her, demanding what she was owed, I knew the time had come. Sajan, you hearing this? What do you think? Hey, Yamashita-kun. Yeah? Let's say you're at a restaurant or a store. How exactly would you treat the staff? I... I just try to be as polite as possible. Even though people don't expect it because of how I look, it's still the right thing to do. Okay. Well, you pass for now. <laughs> Setting the bar for being your sister's squeeze kind of low, aren't you? I said for now, didn't I? Huh? Don't worry. I'm still gonna watch over Nanoha from my big sister perch somewhere. So if Yamashita-kun turns out to be a total creep, then I'll just have to step in. Whatever it takes to make her happy. I get that. I'd want the same. <laughs> You're a good sister, Sachan. I'm sure Nanoha will eventually realize that. Hopefully sooner than later. Thanks so much, Ichiban. That's twice now you've helped me save my sister. I really am grateful, you know. I'm glad you're in my life.